Welcome to TV Anthology Reviews. We are doing episode 7 of season 2 of Monsters, called Jar. Private investigator Jack is checking out a motel in the middle of the woods because there have been disappearances. Jack speaks with a slight lisp, but it adds to his character. He says there have been some people missing around the area, some that have stayed in this motel. The motel owner seems confused and befuddled. We get the first look of the femme fatale Anne. Cue the jazz music. She explains her husband George is a nightmare. In the bar scene, the film noir vibe is in full effect with deceit, lying, cheating, and sexual innuendos. Music underlying the entire scene. If you're interested, I could give you some pointers. I'm a very willing student. Anne is married to a mafia boss, George, who is in bad health, but she can't let him die because if he does, his money and property will be transferred to George's sister. This puts Anne in a tricky situation. She hates him, but still has to keep him alive so she can still take some of his money. We get a look at the jar filled with green liquid, something slithering around inside. George knocks it to the ground, and the motel owner freaks out, but the jar does not break. The owner, Hallett, hands Anne a jar before she goes upstairs, a scene that does not go unnoticed by private investigator Jack. The motel owner, Hallett, says the jar is his special pickles that you should not open. It seems Anne found the perfect way to get rid of her husband and still get his money. She gives him a taste of owner Hallett's special pickles. Yeah, it's the face huggers from Aliens, but green instead. The jar monsters swallow the entire body, leaving no crime scene. So George wasn't killed, he has just gone missing, and Anne can continue to spend his money and sell off his property. Her scream brings Jack to her room. It seems even she was surprised at how well Hallett's special pickles work. It's also clear at this point, this is a motel where people come to have someone disappear. She reassures Jack that her husband George just went out for a walk, but as Jack pokes around more, she finally confesses that she killed him. You should go to hell with an Oscar. All right, I killed him. I planned it, I did it, and I'm glad. The interaction between these two is good, keeping the viewer on his toes, knowing they are both playing a game. This type of tension was common in film noir movies, playing on the very real feeling of love and hate being intertwined. Remember the ride we took last night, Tiger? The money was buried up in the hill. You were taking me up there to give me my half, remember? You were taking me up there to kill me, Tiger. They settle their differences by sleeping together and decide they are stronger as a team since little innocent Anne doesn't know much about real estate or dealing with all of George's assets, all $12 million of it. Jack agrees to help and split the money. She doesn't get her husband's money if he dies, but if he disappears, well, that's another story. She explains the monster grows out in the swamp and is sensitive to light. If you open the jar and it sees light, it attacks the nearest person. It swallows the body whole, leaving no evidence. They both leave with a jar just in case. And Mr. Hallett ships new jars, in case you need any. Don't look so surprised. How much do you charge for these things? $300. Mind you, shipping is extra. Enjoy your pickles. Great ending. It's open for interpretation, and I would love to see a part two, but Monsters doesn't do part twos. All episodes are only 22 minutes. Jar gets a 7 out of 10. The noir theme is not overdone to the point of being annoying, and it mixes in actual horror elements instead of just being a crime drama, like actual film noir movies of the 30s and 40s. The music is a bit overbearing at times, but it seems this was done to play on older movies that have blaring trumpets and orchestras during the scenes. The actors do a good job, but Anne was definitely the standout, capturing the beauty and cold calculation that is needed for the role. Anne is played by Gina Gershon, she was in the music video for Hello Again by the band The Cars. Let's see if we can find her. Oh, there she is, underneath a guy's crotch. She was also in Pretty in Pink and Cocktail with Tom Cruise. Jack is played by Richard Edson, who was in Starsky and Hutch and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Hallett was played by Fritz Weaver, who was in virtually every TV show in the 1960s. From The Twilight Zone, Gunsmoke, The Man from U.N.C.L.E., basically all of them. All right, in two weeks, we will do three more episodes, The Demons, Reaper, and The Mandrake Root. Bye.